Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure. Like it says on the side of the train, and this is Transport Fever with the North Atlantic map. Uh, now, his, you know, usually what I would do here is I would have some kind of extravagant setup um, with regard to, oh, doesn't it look magnificent, uh, trains passing, and I wouldn't have these flipping dialogue boxes all over the place. But if you watched the last episode, and if you didn't, why not? Um, uh, you will know that we are currently... Uh, messing around with routes coming into and out of the, uh, the the distribution hub. Now, this is you know, it's not rocket science, but uh, but you know, it is proving to be uh, a test of of just how poorly I've set up the junctioning here so far. I don't think it's that poor, but we'll have to actually run some trains to see if that's the case or not. Uh, uh, when I finished off in the last episode, uh, Miami and Atlanta's fuel routes. Uh, and now I need to add in uh, the the food routes heading to those two cities as well. So if you stick around, we'll do that. Um, uh, roll the intro tune thing. Right, so I've brought up the routes as we have them now. Uh, if we look at this one here, this is Port Nelson Waypoint 3. Uh, this is currently where the uh, the Chicago route is going, and if we bring that one up as well, uh, what I've started doing is naming these waypoints uh, so that there is no confusion in my mind as to what's going on. Uh, so this is PRN. Uh, and actually, this is a much better naming convention. Uh, this one here is CHI. It's it's chosen that one. We'll keep it. Um, yeah, I mean, by, by using these waypoints, we allow the trains to come in on the correct platform. Uh, and then hopefully, if I've got everything else set up well, <laughs> yes. Uh, if I do have everything else set up well, that uh, that we all just run merrily, merrily, all the way to the correct destination. That's the that's the thinking there anyway. Uh, so let's uh, let's go for Miami next, uh, and I want my Miami to come in and out of this one here, uh, and then into the station. All right there you go. That seems to be that. That looks like it's perfect. Incredibly unlikely, but you never know. M I A M I A food. There we go. Right. Uh, and then let's just have a look and see if this has decided to be, you know, ludicrous with this. No, it's not. Look at this. It's working. That's that's all good. It is using the correct in and out route for this line. That's that's top notch. Good. Okay. Now I, all it really remains to do on there is to stick a quick signal on it. Uh, where would you do that? Well, you're only ever going to have one train. Um, on this piece of track, and it's only ever going to be the train that heads out to Miami with food. So we can stick a signal on there. Hold on, can you? Yes, you can. Uh, and you're never going to block anything untoward, uh, but it should allow other trains to, to, you know, just get on with business. There we are. Right, good. Miami. Bosh. Done. Theoretically, that should just stick it out quite merrily. Yeah, there, there it goes, look. Onto the main line, and then it's uh, it's off and it's running. So that would, that one was actually pretty painless. Uh, next up is Atlanta's food line. So this is ATL food. Uh, right, and then we just need to pick a platform for it. Uh, well, just because I you know I like ice skating uphill, let's put that on there uh, before it heads into the station. There we go. And again, this looks like it's got it right. Well, there we are. I was, you know, I was anticipating this actually being, you know, tremendously tricky to to deal with, uh, but uh, you know, it turns out that it's 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 all complying. So evidently, I've set this station up significantly better than the other one. Uh, okay, right now, all that remains is we kill off the stuff we've done before, and we get rolling with the stuff we haven't. There we go. Is that right? We should have two food, two fuel. So there's two fuel, and there's two food. All right. Well, this is either going to work really, really well, or it's all going to fall apart horribly. There will be no 
no halfway house here. Now, uh, not one of these trains is going to be cheap. They are all going to be extraordinarily expensive. Um, and that's, you know, that's always good for a laugh, isn't it? Now, can you, where can you, what can you, how can you? All right, so Depot 4 here will send things downstream. So I think we'll send uh, an Atlanta. We'll send uh, a food and a fuel. I think uh, I think we'll send these two down that way. Okay, right. Well, good. Let's uh, let's do that then. Uh, right. So now, they're, because they're going a long way, I'm going to need them to actually, you know, pick up the tempo a little bit. And I don't have that many choices for you know high speed diesel. Uh, rocking it out of uh, rocking out of North America, um, you know. I could electrify, but we have vowed not to electrify this particular section. Uh, and this is a busy section of track as well. It's, you know, <laughs> Big Boy is still faster than a lot of them. Hauls more. It's expensive, but uh, no, we're gonna we're gonna run this uh, this General Electric here. Uh, do we want to double header it? Mm, yes. That's very expensive, you know. Yep, but we're doing it anyway. Uh, right. Uh, you up onto there. Uh, right, now, wagons. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me fuel here. Uh, what are these? 15 or 18. I think we go with that. Well, the 18s are pretty expensive to keep running. And they're heavier, so they're going to run slower. I think we stick with the 15s, you know. Uh, let's go for 285, 285, 300. Yeah, good. That's a number. Right. So you can be the Atlanta fuel train. There we are. Now, the real the real trouble I'm going to have here is in um, uh, actually being able to provide enough, uh, enough supply for this to work. Uh, I do. I, I I have a suspicion that I'm not going to be able to supply enough fuel to ever fill any of these. Uh, but we'll, you know, we'll find out. Right now, you are going to Miami with food, so we'll run this box car here. We'll run this box car here. Right. Okay. How many of these do we want? I don't know. Bring me up the bring me up the train. There we are. Fifty four again. I no actually three hundred. That's what we want. 306, uh, Miami food. There we go. Good. Right. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. And get rid of that. And get rid of this. And get rid of that. Hey! Right. Now, the same thing again, uh, but this time we want to actually run up and load these guys first, or pretend to load them, I should say, because uh, on, their, on their debut voyage, they're unlikely to get loaded. So that's where are we going here. Well, that's either of these two. So let's let's do both of these two. Let's have one coming out of this one by a train locomotive, and uh, again, this is going to need to be a a heavy a heavy duty. All right, two of those flipping heck. The, and you know, this is I, I'm going to need these to to uh, to get to work pretty flipping quickly because uh, uh, I need them to pay off. Uh, let's go through 306. Okay, uh, and that's Atlanta food. All right, yeah, done that. That's done with that, and that's done as well. All right, let's go and bring one out of here. The only reason that I'm doing this now and all at once is because I want to see all these trains emerging uh, near simultaneously. Admittedly, I've got those first two coming out of this first depot, but uh, uh, there we go. Two of those, please. This is phenomenally expensive uh, and then we'll go with these chaps again around about 300 should do the trick it's a heck of a lot is what it is uh, this is Miami fuel so yeah I mean basically what we're doing here is we are we're, we're testing out the theory of whether I've got these routes set up correctly by uh, by throwing a ton of flipping trains out at, at the same time Let's, uh, uh, there we are. Uh, this should be this should be well worth a watch. 
place your bets on who gets to go through first. This is a, a monstrous amount of investment. Monstrous. Monstrous levels of investment right here. Okay, that's fun. Um, okay, uh -huh. interesting. I have obviously used different tankers on uh, on each of those trains. Ho-hum. It's only money. There we are. Now, I mean, the, the reason being, right? So, uh, no, let's, let's keep watching. I mean, this is too good, <laughs> too good not to watch. Uh... You know, uh, I've been told by herself that uh, there's nothing quite like the look of a of a dash coming out of a coming out of a depot while uh, while a metro liner goes past. She's got good taste. So that's probably why she keeps me around. Um, anyway, there we go. Uh, okay, so what what are you? You're you're Miami Fuel. I would expect to see you switching lines here over onto this one. As you are, in fact, doing. And I should have a little bit more faith in my track lining, if I'm honest. Because, uh, you know, I've, I've been doing this long enough now that it should just, you know, I should know what I'm doing. But the, the, the only thing that concerns me is that I'm possibly going to have to redevelop... Um, somewhere and it's either going to be this section around the depots or it will be this section here uh, in order to allow uh, more trains through because I do have uh, a lack of uh, a facility for, for high numbers of trains and basically what that means is that I've got too many tracks uh, and that, you know I could potentially get the same effect by just running three tracks than running the, the whatever it is now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine tracks right now. Uh, and those nine tracks largely exist purely to uh, to be able to get stuff to the depot. Um, but, you know, hey-ho. Right, there we are. So that should be... Here comes the food track. No, that's a metro liner. All right, there goes the food train. This one's waiting for a gap in proceeding so it can get onto the main line. There we go. But that's now... I mean, how many services are we talking about here? We're talking about three coming out of each of the... Four coming out of each of those two uh, goods distribution-y stations. Um, so there's, you know, there's eight coming up and down through that, through that primary junction. There we go. There's another good shot coming up. Oh, see, that's totally worth it. Totally, totally worth it. It's a, it's a good, it's a good view. Uh, you know, if this is this is the sort of thing that you like watching, then uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of that. Pretty much every time I kind of go, look at this one. Uh, then we'll we'll do that. Now, ah, no, what we haven't done yet. Is we haven't. Okay, so he comes a big boy, and it's still the fastest thing on this route. How much are you carrying there? 153 crude taking back in the opposite direction, uh, which goes to show just the the level of demand that we're starting to build up now at that uh, at that oil refinery. Uh, that's that's quite something. Uh, right, let's uh, let's follow this track down a little bit because here's the the uh, the under city line. Uh, to uh, that goes underneath underneath Chicago. Now, how, what sort of speed have you got up to? 71. That is actually top speed for this train. Well, that's good. Clearly, double headering it was the way to go. Hey, everybody. Do you think we should ride on board? Yeah, me too. Uh, okay, so this one is heading out. What are we? Atlanta Fuel. So we'll cross over the tracks in a sec before heading into the tunnel uh, as we approach Atlanta. Although... Is that a, no? It's still green. We're all good here. Everything's good. Yeah, let's slow it down as we head through the points. And they go. Nah, actually, stop it. Keep the throttle on. 
drive through this landslip and then we'll uh, we'll head into Atlanta. Go on. Splendid. And as much as the uh, the uh, the underground first person camera is it's a it's a little bit janky uh, in the game. I would far sooner have it than not have it. Uh, you know, even with you know a little bit of uh, gra graphical artifacting going on, I'm, I'm not that bothered. It's uh, it's worth it. The end result. So here we go out into Atlanta, which is a city on the move. It's going places. Ah, this is yeah. This is this is going to be great once it once it all pays off. Can't help but think that some slightly more robust buffers uh, at the end of this uh, the end of this station would be worthwhile. But uh, what the hey? There we go. Right, so that's now rolling back again. Good stuff. Have we got a Miami train anywhere nearby? Not as yet. Okay, well let's fish one up and ride on that one. Then. There we go. Here it comes. You're going to Miami, aren't you? You certainly are. Right, so there we go. Same view again. Uh, and you know this is this is all going to take time to pick up profitability, uh, and while it does so, it's really going to be eating into my uh, my annual returns, which is uh, well, it's undesirable. Um, we'll say that for starters. Um, so I'm going to need these to pick up fairly quickly, and that is going to depend very heavily on the on the amount of raw materials that I can actually get delivered to uh, to be processed. The only reason we're riding on this is because I want to go over my bridge. Thank you very much. Uh, it's a bridge I am jolly proud of. And therefore, uh, expect to ride over this bridge frequently. And if the timing is good, we may pass the oil train on the way back. You never know. Anyway, once again, we are at top speed here. Uh, this, this, uh, this doesn't get any faster. Uh, and the bridge can support it at top speed, which is even better. But hey, uh, look. why are you slowing down? I just—I was just advertising how the bridge could take you at top speed. Let's slow down. There's a bit of a tree cropping through there. A bit of leaves on track. That would have been an auto save, presumably. There we go. So as we come out of here, you know, we'll see the other, uh, the other food delivery, the, the, the other uh, goods delivery. This is the uh, annoying bridge pillar collision uh, minor track switch for no good reason. Very frustrating. Uh, but then we'll, you know, then we'll merge onto this line here, which eventually will be running passenger trains as well. At least to start with, uh, I may decide to uh, to run the passenger stuff on its own um, to avoid snarl ups and what have you. But uh, for the moment, you know, I'm I'm quite happy to do it. But the other thing is, of course, that the the, the passenger route into Miami is going to be phenomenally good to look at. Just you know, it's got a, a properly scenic. You think this is scenic? If we were taking the spur here, uh, heading out to the passenger station, that's that scenic. So we go coming into Miami, and everything's great. Good. Okay. Now, obviously, it's not carrying anything right now because that's its maiden voyage complete, uh, and we'll stick some points. Uh, signal. Uh, that, that's not points. That's a signal. Uh, they're two different things. Uh, we'll stick another one right about there. And we'll stick another one right about here. There we go. Oh, it is. It's doing it. Oh, good. We've got the train coming the other way. Come on, quick. Right on board. We're only doing this because, you know, trains passing one another is a, is a wonderful thing to see. Uh, yeah, here we go. Top notch. And actually, that's, this means this train did a, a really quick turnaround coming out of uh, uh, coming out of the oil distributor. I'd be very surprised if it was carrying anything. What have we got? Miami food? No, here we go. Crude. Yeah, it's not carrying anything. 
it will do. Right, let's go and have a look and, and see uh, uh, see what sort of production we've been uh, upping the tempo to. Uh, but also we'll get to see uh, just how the, the queuing is getting on. What are you carrying? Uh, you're already established. 234 food. That's well worth it. That's going to pay off quite nicely. In fact, if we have a look at the finances, it's not paying off even slightly at the moment maybe a little worrying uh, what did you cost me last year you cost me two million last year maybe a little worrying because I can't afford to subsidize all this stuff some of it yes all of it no let's have a look what are you going to be worth in fact let's turn on the, the, the price in notifier what you got for me be good. I want a happy number here. 7.6 million. Okay, well that's over double what it made last year, so that means this year that train will be profitable. Thank you. Good. You can carry on about your business. Who? what are you? Oh, there's the oil train coming in as well. Oh, it's all go. And you know what would make this even better is if we had a train coming out of the tunnel. You know, now-ish. Any time around now. You know, this would be, I mean, you know, I'm pretty sure I've got a good screenshot in the bag already, but this would be uh, the screenshot to end all screenshots. Uh, we got a red signal there, but that doesn't mean anything at all. Given that all signals kind of hang on red until they're needed. I'd sooner they hung on, uh, you know, the current state of the track, but uh, we'll live. Oh, you can't have it all, I suppose. Yeah, it just would have been just would have been nice to get a train coming out of the tunnel at the same time. How far off are we? Oh, miles away. There is a train for ages. Uh, okay, so if we look at the big boy here, which I believe I need to replace, it makes on average, you know, nine and a half, ten million profit per year. That's profit. That's not overall revenue. It's a it's an absolute beast as far as earning is concerned. Uh, and long may it continue. What are you doing? You're taking food away. Excellent. And presumably, I've got enough trucks doing that because I will buy more if we need to, if we need more trucks on there. Go on, there, big fella. What have you got for me? Nine and a half million. Perfect. Uh, okay, good. Right, so this is all going. Actually, there's a passenger train coming out of Port Nelson with seven passengers on board. That's pretty p flipping heck. What have we got going on here then? All right, so this is the uh, the current state of play for international shipping. Uh, three. There's more than enough waiting for both uh, Dublin and Edinburgh. Tromsø is also almost done already. Uh, what are you? This is the Tromsø fuel bolt coming in now. Yeah, this is, you know, this is a this is proper shipping right here. Uh, but yeah, it goes to show I could probably put extra um, uh, extra ships on those existing routes and, and still make good money. Uh, meanwhile, how's this looking? Well, five different places that we're taking stuff to. And uh, and that's that's not bad. Uh, the only one that's really horrible is uh, is PR and food bulk. If we have a look at this uh, this chap here, yeah, you're burning money like there's no tomorrow, aren't you? Well, brilliant. We need to up the tempo on that one. But we should be increasing quite happily the amount of food production constantly. So this is this is ticking up now, uh, and it's going to be a little while before it actually reaches the kind of uh, the kind of output that we're capable of. Uh, what else have we got waiting here? 157 to go to Chicago. So the Chicago food route is actually going to start making some good money. Uh, what about over here? How are we doing? Atlanta 33, Miami 20. Yes. But you know they have to get a they have to build up an appetite for this stuff, uh, and then it'll all start paying off. At least that's the you know that's the hope. But 
Port Nelson for, you know, Port Nelson spotters is building up quite nicely. Uh, and it's building up on the right side of the tracks, building up nothing but commercial over, over this side. Um, and that's great fun because, uh, you know, obviously dropping off goods, it, that's actually, you know, they're not getting a sniff of that in the slightest. It's all, it's all happening over there. But for passengers, you know, that's all, that's all grand. 32 waiting on the Great North. How many have we got coming in? 28. Not quite there for profit just yet. But it'll get there. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for today. A little bit of a shorter episode today. Um, uh, everything appears to be well, more or less working. Um, we've yet to have, you know, a, a three, four train trying to get through this intersection at once scenario. And it will happen at some point, I'm sure. Uh, but right now... And what are we looking at? Production's actually down on there in a the moment. Which means there's clearly quite a... That'll be the cause. Uh, and obviously, if production's down there, it's going to be down on here as well. Has, is this actually making... It is making money. This monster of a train that doesn't go very far and does it very slowly is making cash. So what am I going to do next? So next time, uh, I want to set up an airport. Or actually, a series of airports. We want to set a goods distribution airport up next to the uh, next to the farm here to send food across the world uh and then uh, do we want to do that now yeah we want to do that now i've got stuff i can be developing everywhere right we know this already this is this is not new news uh we've got you know we've got a lot of work still to be done um and uh, and in order to do that you know we just keep ticking on I mean, time will advance but we will we will get places you're coming out from under Chicago, aren't you? Yeah, see, that would have been quite nice to see. Have we got anyone coming into Atlanta? That would be another one that's worth seeing. Anyone at all? No, you can't. You can't delete. There we go. There's one. Uh, anyway, there we go. So that's uh, so. Yeah, uh, distributing food by plane. That's going to be the next uh, the next objective. And then I think we'll probably finish off the uh, the full loop for uh, for American passenger services because. Uh, well, uh, you know, that's 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 a money printer right there. Uh, so thank you very much for watching today. I've been Colonel Failure. Um, throw a like at this one. I, I think that's, you know, we're largely there as far as the, the food distributor is concerned. We might add another, well, we've got we've got capacity, certainly, to, to add another one, two, even three uh, destinations for, uh, for, for North America from that distribution hub. So, you know, that's 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 quite tempting. Um, uh, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what mood takes us. But next time around, we'll do some more with planes. There you go. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, chuck a like at this one if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you've not yet done so. I will catch up with you very soon. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.